Hi, welcome to the first episode of Microwave Frequency Band video series. From 5G to space-based internet to self-driving cars. Throughout this series, we are going to cover some fascinating applications of microwave frequencies that has potential to change our life forever. And we are going to understand some of the interesting applications that are already part of our life. And in this process, I hope we can learn some of the fundamental concepts of microwave frequency spectrum. At this point, I would like to thank my viewers, Sameer and Durga, for wanting to know more about these topics. Their questions really motivated me to create this video series and share it with you all. So, if you have any questions related to my videos, please drop a comment and I will try my best to answer it. Okay, without any further ado, let's get started. First, some basics. Light and sound travel as a wave and waves have frequency. To measure frequency, we see how often this wave repeats itself in a given time. For example, if the wave repeats 5 times in 1 second, its frequency is said to be 5 Hz, Hz being the unit of frequency here. And visible light consists of 7 colors which many of you might have seen in a rainbow. Each of these colors have different frequencies. Similarly, sound can also travel in different frequencies. This picture might be familiar from your high school physics class. This is a list of all bands in an electromagnetic spectrum. We see different components here, one of them being microwave frequency, usually defined between 300 MHz to 300 GHz. And we are going to focus on this part of electromagnetic spectrum throughout this video series. Next, let us understand some more about microwave frequency bands. As I mentioned, the commonly accepted frequency range of microwave spectrum is from 300 MHz to 300 GHz. And this being such a large range, it is further divided into bands. According to the definition by Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers, commonly known as IEEE, the frequency band in this range are named as follows in the increasing order of frequency. Bear with me, this is a long list. As we can see here, the frequency range of L band is from 1 to 2 GHz, of S band from 2 to 4 GHz, of C band from 4 to 8 GHz, of X band from 8 to 12 GHz, of KU band from 12 to 18 GHz, of K band from 18 to 26.5 GHz, of KA band from 26.5 to 40 GHz, of V band from 40 to 75 GHz, and finally, W band from 75 to 110 GHz. Frequencies on the lower end of microwave spectrum, that is 0.3 to 1 GHz, do not have a single letter IEEE naming. However, these are referred to as ultra high frequencies or UHF. Similarly, on the other side, frequencies from 110 to 300 GHz also do not have a single letter IEEE designation and are commonly referred to as extremely high frequency or EHF band. However, many people also refer EHF band as all microwave frequencies above 30 GHz. And before we go further, let me remind you a key point from high school physics, which I will be referring to extensively throughout this video series. The higher the frequency of a signal, the more data it can communicate. On the other hand, Higher frequency signal can only travel to a small distance before getting lost in surroundings or attenuated. So if someone wants to transmit a signal for a long distance, say to communicate with satellite around Mars, lower frequencies like L or S band may be preferred. On the other hand, if someone wants to transmit large volume of data, for example, high speed wireless broadband communication in office, higher frequency like V band may be used. Another important point to note about microwave spectrum is some frequencies are absorbed by different components of atmosphere and hence find very little application. For example, frequencies around 22 GHz get absorbed by water vapor and hence K band is rarely used. However, frequencies below and above K band that is KU and KA bands have extensive applications and are widely used. This chart highlights other such frequencies in microwave spectrum. With this, we come to the end of this introduction part. We have covered some important topics and we are ready to look at interesting and amazing applications of microwave spectrum. Hope you are also excited as I am for this next video. Till then, take care.